the tree, the lights, and the presents. Those are just some of the things that put us in the Christmas spirit every year on December 24th and 25th. But let's not forget the true story behind the holiday. About 2,000 years ago, a woman named Mary was approached by an angel saying she was the chosen one to be the mother of the Son of God and was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Nine months later, in the city of Bethlehem, along with her husband Joseph, Mary gives birth in a manger filled with hay to a baby boy named Jesus Christ, who will soon grow up to be the Savior. The Christian belief is that Jesus Christ is, is the one who was promised and who is God's Son, the divine, taking on our human flesh. And the, um, the celebration of Christmas is a celebration of his birth into the world, into our history. So how did Christmas, which has so much religious significance for us, also become known as the family fun holiday filled with presents, Santa Claus, his reindeer and elves, and also become known as the season of giving. According to Father Chris, you can give thanks to old Saint Nick. The figure of Saint Nicholas, who was a bishop in the uh, fourth century, the stories about him have to do with his generosity and his care, especially for the poor. And so his, you know, giving the giving of gifts, somehow he was merged with, it seems like, some of the um, European mythical figures that came during the winter bringing gifts of various kinds. And that story evolved and developed to create and to enlarge and to make more appealing that, that figure of Santa Claus. Um, like the reindeer, you know, how does he get around the world? The reindeer were created. The elves, how did Santa make everything himself. He couldn't do that, so they had these figures of elves that were uh, part of his uh, workers and helped him put things together. What about the Christmas colors red and green? What do they mean? As from Christianity's point of view would be that green represents everlasting life and that red represents the blood of Christ that made possible for us everlasting life. No matter how or which way we celebrate Christmas, we must always remember it should be the most wonderful time of the year, bringing happiness and peace for everyone. Yeah, it really is a great time, and as long as we keep things in a you know a good perspective, we can really celebrate it in the true way or the way that, that our faith really calls us to do that. So. With that, Harland, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Reporting from Kirksville, Vanessa Alonso, KTVO News.